Oh! Oh, they got me! Oh, I'm dying. I think I'm bleeding out. I'm dying. I got- they got me. Oh, no. No, wait, I'm fine. Hi, everybody! My name is Lenscap. Welcome back to Planetfall, my modded Space Engineers playthrough. This is episode number four. Today we're working on uh, stone acquisition. Um, I'm struggling to keep up with um, materials, with the amount of stone I have and um, and that kind of stuff. So uh, I did add some more energy, by the way. Another wind turbine. And um, I completed the blast doors. Let's look at it. We have doors. They close. They do. They close. Boom. Blast doors closed. Okay, and they open as well. Um, we're not going to stand here and watch that. Let's check on our drill. Um, I've had to babysit the crap out of this thing, so... Oh, it moved. Okay, the last time I looked at it, it was stuck. And uh, it appeared to have, like, maxed out the capabilities of the... Um, this, the hinge. Um, I, I thought maybe the hinge didn't have enough torque to lift it past, but it appears to be okay now. So what I've been doing is uh, just drilling some and then extending... Oh, no! <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't have jetpacks to get out of here, so... Oh, and our drills are on. I'm not sure how to deal with this right now. Okay, we'll drill our way out. Okay, I just drilled in like a spiral kind of thing. Um, all the way up from the bottom there to get out. So I guess if um, if the hinge is able to tolerate the weight of the pistons, let's let's extend it again. Um, can I can I reach the button? Oh, I saw it. Wait, wait. There we go. Okay, so any piston, it doesn't matter. I've just been extending them basically like one large grid block, which is two and a half meters. So I'm setting my min my maximum distance uh, to 2.5. Okay, I want to set my velocity as well. Hello, game. To very low, very low, zero three. Okay, and then we will. Reverse the piston. And then once that piston is extended, um, we'll reverse the hinge. And it seems to have no problem going down. But the hinge struggles to... Wow, this I'm super laggy right now. So, the, But the, the hinge struggles to get the arm uh, fully up. So uh, we'll just have to keep that situation monitored. I've got uh, pretty much everything welded up now, um, except for a few minor things like the catwalks here, the stairs that are everywhere. I haven't done outside um, yet. Maybe we'll get to that, maybe not. Maybe it'll just stay scaffolding forever and we just close the door and trap ourselves in here for the rest of our lives. Okay, but anyway, uh, I made a bed. Let's make the bed. Okay, so now there's a bed here. Um, we can deal with the color for it later, but I actually want these doors open. Um, because I want to show you that it is nighttime. And we can go to this bed now and sleep. I feel like it would be hard to sleep in this room. That's very loud. We are sleeping. Indeed, still sleeping. Good morning! And we hop out of the bed, and it's daytime! Aha! Now we can skip through the night, which will make for better, um, better video making, honestly. Um, because I'm not standing around waiting as much. It's just like a lot of, <laughs> a lot of inconvenience for me, uh, to have to walk, to have to wait through the night. I made a dispenser. Uh, what can we get out of this? Clang Cola. Cosmic coffee. Um, I actually am gonna get some coffee right now, please. Thank you for your purchase. You're very welcome. I got some coffee. 
Let's see if that does anything. I'm not actually thirsty right now, looking over here, so... Uh, I don't know if it'll help my thirst or not. Okay, hot chocolate. Space meal bar. Artificial food. I, I can make that. Luxury meal for 500 space credits. Uh, you know, I do feel kind of hungry, and I've got 10,000 space credits. Let's see what happens. Can we get this? Luxury meal. There it is. Let's see if we eat it. We'll just wait and see if that, see if we eat that. Uh, if we can, if we can eat that, man, this is like an easy way to get food for sure. Like a really good, good source of food. We did this to make sure we're able to get enough space credits. All right, there we go. So that's outside, uh, mostly. I guess I still have the rails on this side. Anyway, that's that's most of the outside work done. Um, I think it looks pretty good. We've got like these uh, black and yellow, kind of like caution lines, you know, on the driving portion. And then we've got the walking portion over here. Uh, I think this works out. I like it a lot. It looks pretty good. Ooh, an unknown signal. Yeah, this one's pretty close. A lot of the times they fall either out in the valley over there, which I could potentially run to them, um, or they fall on the other side of the mountain, which there's no way I can get there right now. Um, I think I'd need a flying vessel to get over there. But this one looks like it's on the ice. Okay. It's one of these kinds. Let's see what we get. Oh yeah, cow gloves. Heckin' right. All right, did we get space credits, though? Whoa! There's so much food in here! Med kits and tons of food. A couple of space credits. All right. I like that. Let's, uh, let's just take all this stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see. Where's the sun? Okay, it's fine. We can do this tour at night. So, uh, I have done some work. A lot of work, in fact. Uh, the base is basically finished. Let's turn off the HUD for a little atmospheric tour of this kind of, like, respawn base. Um, I think it's finished. We're pretty much finished with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable with where it's at. Here, can we paint this first? There we go. Final touches. Um, I replaced the towers with gantries. I have a mod called the gantry mod, I think it's called, and they add these blocks that look like uh, kind of the unfinished blocks. They're called gantries, um, and I think it looks really cool. I've got these, like, stabilizer support arms. Um, that was a lot of large steel tubes. That took forever to get the resources for, it, but I got everything, and it looks good. I think it looks really good. Um, I'm not quite sure about the the catwalks on the top. I'm not sure if I like that or not. I'm gonna leave it for now, uh, but let me know in the comments what you think about those catwalks. They're, they they almost are too big. Um, they almost stick out too far. I might just get rid of them um, and maybe just do like the rails like I did on the stairs, like this um, instead. It's a little less safe, but um, that way, you know, I've got access up there if I need to. Uh, but it's not, like, obtrusive. Like, I think, I feel like those catwalks are in the way. Anywho, let's take a look. This won't take very long. It's not a very big base. Uh, but it does look pretty good. So, I showed you the entryway with the paint before. I've showed you the doors. Now, these blocks are intentionally unfinished. I don't think we'll have any problem with things shooting them. Um, if we do get attacked, but if, uh, if we do get attacked at this base, we're already in some, we're already in some, uh, we're already having a big problem. Um, you know, cause this is our respawn. This is like our, our like last ditch point of defense place, which by the way, I don't have guns. Uh, so that's a, that's a problem as well. Um, on the right side here, we have the assembler, the basic assembler, the basic refinery. Um, we have the Clankola machine and a bed. Um, these stairs lead up to the conveyor access up here, uh, in case we need to get to that. I don't know why we would, but it does. Um, this goes down below uh, to like a little maintenance area for the truck. It does 
functionally it does nothing, but it, you know, it adds some realism, I feel like, to this, um, to this base. And if we needed to extend down, uh, we could through that access, I guess. Back here, I've got some crates just for decoration, um, some stairs, and this is our mining spot, which, by the way, I think it's time to activate the hinge. So we'll get that going so we can get some more stone. Um, we've got like a catwalk this way that goes out if we need to, let me turn on some lights, it's pretty dark. Uh, if we need to access the drill head, then we can get to the drill head from here. I'll have to extend this uh, shortly. I'll probably do that later. And then there's a little passage here so we can get to the back of the car if we need to, because there's not really an easy way to get back here. Um, but that's it. That's the base. It's not very big. Um, but it is like the starter area, you know, the most basic base that we could, uh, that we could come up with, that we could use. And it's functional. And it looks cool. It's got this little, these cool little arm things. I think that's cool. Um, we've got some pizzazz going on here. So what are we doing for the rest of the episode? Well, we don't have a ton of time left, but I think we will start on the next project. I need uh, more resources. I need more resources. We've got a silicon deposit way out in the middle of the ice lake there that we'll probably take advantage of. But I need to find out where other ore deposits are. Um, iron would be super handy. I need magnesium pretty badly. And um, I, I would love to get my hands on some of that stuff. I was looking at the G menu and our ore detector um, is made of components that I think we can make. Um, let's make sure we can get some detector components, actually, in our assembler. I don't know if the basic assembler can do that. Detector components are iron and nickel. Yeah, we can do iron and nickel. So let's make a ship, a very small rover, that has a large grid ore detector on it that we can drive around and try to find maybe some ore patches. All right, so I think this is the last piece. Detector component, there we go. All right, so it's not fancy, it needs a paint job, but uh, here's my little tractor. Uh, I've got a battery, I've got, uh, with no way to charge it, I've got an ore detector, a gyroscope, a cockpit, and four wheels. That's it. What a good, what a great little rover. Okay, so let's take it down off the jacks, so to speak. It's pretty small, but, um, it, uh, it, you know, it gets the job done. I guess it was being held on by this block. There we go, down off the jacks. Uh, maybe I'll just put a piece of catwalk over that and we'll use that rotor again later. Um, I should have let this battery charge more before I did that. Oh well, it's too late now. How much battery do we have? 21 hours? Oh my goodness, this thing has some get up and go. Nice. All right, well, I'm going to configure some controls and probably sleep through the night. Um, and then tomorrow, the next day, we will head out and hopefully find something interesting. What is it? That's a damn Lamborghini panel wagon. Sapphire blue. Lamborghini, boy, you can, man, look how big the thing is, man. You fit two, three bitches in there and throw a deer in the back. God, dog. Good morning. Ah, good morning, good morning. Now, if I save a blueprint of this rover, does it save the contents of the cargo container? Um, I did have the materials to make a small cargo container here, and I put some food in there um, for our drive. Because we're about to go for a drive. Let's keep me, actually. Let's keep, like, 17. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, so, okay, what else do we need to do? Let's make sure the name is right. We don't need this Capra RV2. I called it the White Tail uh, John Deere. Get it? Like a White Tail Deer? Okay. So, and then we make our screenshot. Uh, Control B. Add 
the blueprint cap rv2 whitetail all right so there we go now we've got a blueprint of it and now i think let's do first person just so it's more immersive a little bit and we'll just go let's check out the valley so i have um hard to break off weather clear i have explored this way um this is where I tend to get my ice from, is over in this direction. Let's just go over there with the ore detector and see if we can find anything this way first. And then we'll maybe head back out into the uh, kind of larger grassland area of the valley. I'm having some trouble with my audio today um, in this episode. I'm trying to get things squared away and set up. I, I don't know, something must have changed some Windows settings and that always messes up my audio uh, hopefully it's okay yeah there's nothing over here hopefully with the ore distribution oh, there's a panini oh that sounds delicious right now okay cap focus uh hopefully with the ore distribution mod i have installed we will find something relatively close although the the whole point of the mod is to make it so that we kind of need to build different outposts at different ore deposits um, you know, so we have multiple bases going on. Um, I mean, ultimately, living off stone isn't that bad, but there's a lot of stuff we just don't have access to um, when all we have available to us is stone. Okay, here we go. We're coming up on a hill. It drives pretty good. Um, it slips around on the ice a little bit, but I think that's just ice being ice. Yeah, no, this thing handles beautifully. Now, if this isn't picturesque, like a John Deere tractor sitting in the middle of a wheat field, oh, that's beautiful. Let's screenshot that. Lovely. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Here's something. We found a nickel deposit. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, let's hop out. Where are uh, we have to be sitting? Oh, I guess there's no antenna on this, so we have to be sitting actually in it to see the deposit. Okay. Heck yeah, we found some nickel. I was hoping for iron, but nickel's not bad. It looks like this is the lowest spot, so let's mark it right here. EPS. N C K E L nickel. Is that? Does that not do it? I swear that's supposed to make a GPS. Maybe because I have it um, caps. There we go. It's got, okay. It's got to be lowercase. And But wait a minute. There's iron here as well. Hold on. Oh, yeah. This is what we wanted. Nickel and iron? Okay. I didn't even see that before. Nickel, comma, iron. Awesome. Okay, this is good. We've got nickel, iron, and silicon now. Uh, I think those are the three resources we get from from stone, so that's good. Hopefully we can find some cobalt while we're out and about today, and then we'll be really in business. Okay, here's another nickel deposit. Let's hop out and grab our drill. Yeah, it's so deep, we can't even see it with the hand drill. So it's a good thing we have this ore detector on here. So here's another one with nickel. There may be other ores as well that are deeper, I, I suppose. We found iron with the other one. Nice. Oh, that's steep. Oh, here's some silicon. Okay. Nice, nice. Wait, did I see something else there, or was it just that silicon marker? Okay, looks like it's just silicon. It's very possible that we won't find cobalt uh, just because it's too deep in the ground. I think, uh, and I don't remember exactly the chart. Oh my god, that's super steep. Uh, I don't remember exactly the chart, but I think that cobalt is very deep um it's all steep we'll just yolo it 
Yeah, this little truck is awesome, though. It's got such a low center of gravity that I am not struggling with terrain at all. The wheelbase is wide enough um, that I'm not trying to roll at all. I'm really pleased with this tiny little just rover. It's, it's super basic and simple, but man, it gets the job done. I mean, it's not super fast, but I, uh, I, I've got the speed limit down pretty low. You can see it in the hot bar at 74 kilometers per hour. Um, but I'm just, I'm just like tapping the gas because I need to go pretty slow uh, through this terrain. It's, it's relatively treacherous um, in that there are a lot of hills and cliffs. Can't tell if this is a cliff or not. Yeah, good thing we didn't just leap off the edge of that. Um, do I have any way to get across? Maybe we'll go up that way and see if we can find a way over to that signal. Okay, like this. What have we got going on here? Can I get to where I'm trying to go? I don't think I can get there from here. Going. Oh, right there, I could probably cross. Oh man, a lot of lag going on. What is happening? Okay, so let's see if we can find that. Uh oh, uh oh. Rolling. Nope, nope, we're good. That must be what it was, that ladybug. What was causing the lag? Okay, come on. Come on, Whitetail, you got this. I was just bragging about you, bro. You you can do it. Okay, I think it was like right here. Oh, this is so sketchy. I do have a gyroscope if we get if we get flipped over. Oh man, look at that. Not even a problem. This little truck is great. It's so good. I'm so pleased with this little this little vehicle. And it's so simple. It's just like it's just like a battery and some wheels and an ore detector. Oh no! Hey, come back here! Where do you think you're going? What? Come back here! I don't have a gun! Stop! Okay, let's, just, let's get the truck. Oh, I took out a tree. Come back here! Oh no. Oh. I'm blocked by the tree. What the heck? Okay. It landed thruster side down though, so that's a little bit of a challenge. Let's, let's hop out with our welder. Oh no, brake and brake. Put the brake on, Cap. Get back in. Brake on. Oh, we missed our opportunity. Okay, we'll try again. Oh, at this rate, it's just going to destroy itself anyway. Come back here. We'll just wait for it to stop rolling and then we'll we'll make our move. Oh yes, perfect. It's upside down. No, right side back up again. Okay. Parking brake. Go, 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 go. Come back, come back, come back, come back. I'm just trying to get the thruster off the bottom. No, it's too fast. Okay, let's go get the truck. We're gonna get this thing. I'm not about to give up. Okay, we can get it this time. Come on. I just gotta get the thruster. Yeah, there we go. And I think we actually are gonna get some cobalt from that. Okay, let's see what we get. You did not find any special item. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, 25 small steel plates. Man, this thing sucks. We're gonna give it a one of these. Ugh! Yeah. Take that. Alright, so I think, uh, I think... There's not... I, I don't know that we're gonna find much else in this valley. Let's, um... Let's try and make it down this mountain, and we'll explore kind of the flat part down there. I haven't really hit that part very much. 
I have found myself in a predicament. Okay, we're upside down. Let me show you how I fix this. So, I have a gyroscope, but when I go, like, if I try and wiggle my mouse or whatever, I can't... I'm not moving. I'm, I'm just upside down. I'm not rolling. I'm not yawing. If I r turn the wheels, like, maybe something happens. I can move a little bit just because my vehicle is so low. My tires are actually touching the ground when I'm upside down. Um... What I tend to do is go in the control panel, go to the gyroscope, and I'll mess with yaw, pitch, and roll. Um, I just click really high, wait for it to start moving, and then I click back in the middle. <laughs> and that probably will fix it. it. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries. I'm just doing flips over and over. It's, it's cool. It's fine. Just got to flip my tractor. That's all. Okay. Oh, too much. You gotta find exactly the right amount of... There we go. Nope. A little too much. Okay, but that's how you do it. Okay, maybe we click lower. Instead of doing 60, we'll do 12. 10. There we go. There we go. It's going, it's going, it's going. Alright, now we can... What the heck? No, keep going! Ha 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 ha! There we go. All right. Now we're upright again. Jeez. Oh, this one's coming in hot. Actually, it's not coming in hot at all. It's on a parachute. Um, but it's right where we came from, so I don't think we're going to go for that one. Okay, here's nickel and silicon. Dude, this nickel deposit is huge. It's like, it's like 300 meters long. Okay, well we made it back to the ice and we didn't really find, whoa, hello? Space engineers, why you do this to me? So we made it back to the ice. We didn't really find what I was looking for. I mean, we found quite a few uh, ore deposits, which is really nice. But not uh, the rarer ones that I was looking for. I was hoping to find some cobalt and some magnesium so we can start getting, you know, some better storage facilities and and uh, and some weapons going. Since this is supposedly um, a very combat-focused playthrough, you know, so we're on episode what ep whatever episode this is four or five now, and we don't even have guns, uh, <laughs> so not off to a great start. But we're getting there. And then I think once we find that stuff, we can start um, producing that stuff. Uh, but anyway, I guess that's all the time I've got for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave your feedback in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the whitetail. I like this little tractor. And until next time, stay tuned.